Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpool Gaming. For Elden Ring rooms, items, and weapons, head over to www.u4gm.com and use your code CARPRO for 5% off. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video. Today, we have another amazing summons to get after. We're talking about the Bloodhound Night Flow. And yeah, it's a good one, ladies and gentlemen. And in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get it and walk you through step by step. So without further ado, once again, thanks for watching and let's get started. Now, this amazing summons can be yours right here from the hero's grave. But you're going to have to make it there. Starting off from the prime evil sorcerer Azure, right across this bridge is the Gilmore hero's grave. Now, you see something pop up right there. That's a full step by step guide to get you to this lovely Azura save point. All right, so I got you covered. After that, hop on your steed, jump on over across. Here is the hero's grave. Now, I'm not gonna lie. There's a ton of stuff down here, ladies and gentlemen. So when you are here, you can explore, but you are kind of gonna have to pay attention to one thing, and that's this giant horse that's gonna try to kill you. You've probably seen him before, and he's back in here, but with a whole lot of lava around us. Here's the save point. Hit that and then make your way down. And this is where all the fun begins. Kind of, sorry, not really. Now, when you first run down, you're gonna have two skeletons jump out, roll right through them, and head to the left. So there's this huge giant horse that's gonna come by and smash him out. Bam, just like that. Now, these skeletons do respawn, so make sure you hit them with a little bit of magic, take them out. And then, we're gonna jump right here to the side, to the right. There's going to be a skeleton inside. Meanwhile, that horse is still coming back and forth, back and forth. So once he head up, we're going to jump back right there. And then we're going to make our way down. And then we're going to make another little right right in here. Then from here, we're going to make our way to this door right over here to the left. Don't worry, right there. Yeah. After he makes his way up, then we're going to run our way down. So there we go. We're going to run over here and make a dash jump. And let me slow it down. Right here to the left is going to be another guy with a crossbow and a sword. You're going to have to take this guy out. Take him out. The other guys are rather easy, but there's another guy right there in the back in shadows with another crossbow and a sword. And there are some other goodies that you can get around here. So go ahead and pick up all the materials and make your way up to the top where there is another guy, same crossbow, same sword. Now you can't see it right now, but there is a gargoyle fire tower right there that you're going to have to hit to come down. And over here is going to be two more of those guys with the sword and the crossbow and some more materials for you to get. And yeah, once again, there's that same horse. Except for this time, it's going to be different. He's not going to have a rider on the back. Yeah, we want to make our way down here to the left like so. Take him out. And we're going to have to actually ride this horse down in order to get to the boss. Yeah, it's going to be pretty sick too. So, you know, once again, these guys can be a little bit tough just due to the angle that you're at to take them out with the magic so they don't respawn. You're going to another take out that guy over there to the right with the bow and arrows and right in here, there's a shade and he almost took me out. So you're going to have to be real careful with this guy just because like I said, it's not a lot of space and you know, the angle can be just a little wonky. But after that, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make our way right down here. Yeah, smart little ledge we can climb down, make our way in here. We're going to bust a right, right through here. And then there is absolutely two different armor sets that you can get from this guy. And I'll have a video posted for that for you as well. Head up the stairs like so. And then there is a small little window that we can hop into. So go ahead, hop into the window and it can look a little weird just to, like I said, the angle and the 3D-ness of it. But once he makes his way down, I'll go ahead and jump. So just in case I screw up, you know, he won't kill you, okay? Now from here, we're gonna make our way right here to the middle, and once he comes all the way up, before he turns around, we're gonna drop down. So as soon as he comes all the way up, we're gonna drop down onto the top of him. Bam, just like that. All right, now we do it. Now this is just sick, it looks really cool. Now as soon as he turn around, jump off, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me, you have enough time. Uh, and then we're gonna make our way right over here where there is another ladder. All right, make your way up here, like so. Then we're gonna hang a right. And now we're pretty much right here at the boss, ladies and gentlemen. This is the playthrough. Now, like I said, I was playing around the first time with the dude trying out the new magic spells. And then I went in here the second time and just, you know what I'm saying? I do again, Kamehameha. And just like that, he was down. 
No BS, just a few hits. <laughs> so the Red Wolf of Champion is back. He's been here uh, quite a few times that we've seen him. So you should probably have your strategy down. You can easily dodge out the way of his attacks and then attack him and then watch out for his glint swords that he pulls up. But you know, he's down for the count. The Bloodhound Knight Flow is ours, ladies and gentlemen. Now, this is an action that remains which is spirits yet dwell. Use the summon the spirit of flow of the Bloodhound Knight. Yeah, he's sick, ladies and gentlemen. Out of all of the ashes that I've seen, he has the best moveset. He, that teleportation dash is just, it's phenomenal. Only got him up to rank seven. So of course I went over, over here where we always do our testing at. And I just target the enemies and just let him just do work. And he did work. Oh boy. I mean, look at this. The dude is just amazing. The animation that he has when he teleports is just sick. I would hate to fight him you know as a boss a, a bigger boss that's teleporting around because it would just be devastating for you to know that moose <laughs> it's it's very uh very welcoming to have this guy on our squad you know what i'm saying so what do you think the bloodhound flow is absolutely doing work ladies and gentlemen through all of these enemies like i said if you are in the mood to get yourself a nice lovely summons well, hey, we have a brand new one to play with. And this one is phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. So I showed you how you can get it. I'll walk you through that nice dungeon. Now, all you have to do is get out there and get you one too. But for right now, that's pretty much going for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you are new to the channel, how you doing? Welcome. Don't forget to subscribe. Right here at Carpo Gaming, upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guys and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one. Later.